you said there hopefully the, the club push on does that mean that you won't be amongst them is that your, your final game yeah no I'm done I'm done I'm done um, I kind of made a decision last year that I wasn't going to play on um, and then just kind of Christmas time came and I was kind of saying what will I do and I felt okay um, and I still feel okay thank God look I, I like I referenced this in the dressing room after like to a few people I've come over into, I've come over into county career in a club here with a few injuries nothing major like you know the discs in my back and neck and stuff bulging this but I'm able to walk and able to talk I'm able to play golf and able to do everything so I'm, I am I consider that to be a successful career but yeah I'm as I said to the lads in my can't talk about that group I said I'm on hanging up that beautifully designed day in Walsh Hurley for once and for all um, and uh, yeah I'm stepping aside from playing um, leading into it I was kind of saying can't wait to be finished can't wait to be finished can't wait to be finished whenever the year was over like hoping it'd be a county final obviously but and then, so I was Billy Big Balls really saying how tough I was and I wanted out and I was sick of it. And then I took off my boots for the final time. Yeah, and I got emotional and uh, you kind of say to yourself like, yeah, that's it. And I suppose memories of a child and your family driving you everywhere and anywhere and matches and everything kind of flood into your head and stuff. So um, I but it has helped me to get to where I was. Um, I'll never forget all the, the help and everything like that. But uh, I think a lot of umpires will be delighted to hear that I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be nagging them about white balls, and, but well, I won't be from the goal line anyway. I will be from the sideline maybe, but um, but yeah, look, I'm I'm very honoured to have represented Cork, to have captained Cork, to have played with the club where I was born, um, you know, uh, and grew up in, and to finish my career with my family was just I couldn't have wrote in any better way. Making a county final, obviously, Morris, but um, for me, I, I would consider myself to be out in a on a positive and uh, just thank everybody that has been involved in my career in any way and anyone that shouted abuse me in the terrace you were right and anyone that helped me fair play to you as well so um, yeah over and out over and out and uh, golf and golf and coaching and Auntie, like you know we've talked a good bit I suppose in hindsight about how much you got out of your, your car career but you know out of your club career like I just think of here off the cuff you know you go back to you know what was it under 12 chasing around uh, Kieran, yeah, the, yeah, Kieran Hart, yeah. The, yeah, to <laughs> the end up and go, but then you know, in all seriousness, the success you enjoyed with with Kentucky, your local club, and then getting to play with your family. I can imagine for all you got out of your, your core career, you got a similar amount out of your, your club career, in both in terms of actual accolades, but also the, the the feeling of having played with your local club and then get finally get back to your family, which I know is, is very important to you as well. Yeah, yeah, like I think, look, I suppose at the time of the transfer, there was a lot of there was in fairness, ninety percent of it was positivity, including Kentor. It was always 10% to negativity. People were saying that I was disgraced for transferring and all this stuff. And look, people just don't understand my story and I, I would never apologise to anyone. So my grandfather was there after the game the last day and he was crying and my uncles were crying. And, you know, it was just an emotional day for me to be able to hang up my boots with, with Soul Liberty's jersey on. And I got to go to Crow Park and in a club all early with my club in Cantork. Like, so I know everyone says like one club, one county and that and stuff as well. But for me, it was the dream for me to be able to finish my career with my cousins on the field, my uncle's selector on the sideline, uh, all my family standing around uh, after the game, uh, hugs and, you know, embracements and stuff like that after. And um, I wouldn't swap it for the world. And in fairness, all my Cantor friends and everything like that, they were all wishing me the best of luck. And I turned 38 last Wednesday as well, and I was getting congratulations and happy birthdays and people in Cantor. And like, it's, I've no begrudgery and they've none towards me either. And you know what? I'd hope to get involved in that club again in a few years' time um, and, and give it a go. But for me, it was just... It was just for like I know fairy tale endings about county finals and stuff, but for me it was a fairy tale ending um, that I got to wear green and gold so liberties after growing up with them during the summers and uh, play at Cantor. But yeah, look, it was lovely, Morris. Um, hard to take, I suppose, really in a way. I kind of Sunday was a bit of a kind of a tough day. I kind of got up and realised, you know, that that is it. But look, I'll be fine. There'll be people roaring at me from the stands again on the sidelines, so I'll be I'll be grand in a few weeks again. But uh, as I said, look. I'm very grateful to hurling as a sport. I'm very grateful to the J, um, and I wouldn't be here sitting in front of you without it. That's the bell for me to go in, like, do you know what I mean? That's it. Stop talking. <laughs>